You know what? I take AI coming in as a tool to help me, but the people that are fearful, what drives humans? You know, fear. Fear of not being good enough, that's what's gonna drive you to become better. I mean, I guess you get, I guess there's no getting better than the AI because the AI is like, honestly just copying you. Merry Christmas, Eve. Yeah. It's the kid's teacher, bro. Yeah, he listens to her a well, so. lot. I know, way better than me, bro. <laughs> like, I took the backpack away from him this morning yeah. and I threw it over like, I threw it over where he couldn't see it. Oh, really? And the next second, he has the contents of the backpack in his hands trying to put his shoes on. Like if you think you're like too good or whatever, it's just like um, you're going to get complacent. So every season there's going to be something new, dog. Like what about like uh, the Google quantum computer that they made, you know? That shit's going to like be able to brute force like uh, and hack any password that you need because it has so much computing power, you know? We're just like a settings cog. You press us, we got all the features to uh, manipulate everything that's in our way. Okay? <laughs> you know what I was about to say in the video today? What? You're gonna you're gonna ask me to rap, and I was gonna be like, I retire. I I saw the videos. I knew how ass I was. You know? <laughs> We're gonna need to fight technology with technology at a certain point. And AI is going to help us. As long as that technology is used for good and to help us, I think it can make us faster and uh, advance our society a little better. My name is Phil. I became a developer after the age of 30, uh, senior developer. If you like, comment, or share, it'll really help the algorithm. We'll really appreciate it. If you guys have any story about how you used AI or anything like that, we read all of them. I'll respond to every single one of them. Thank you for making us a part of your day. Like it, it, was, it was good while it lasted, but then the money kind of dried up and I was like, <sighs> did you do better thing? So that's why I'm here. Okay. <laughs> you can be All right, cool. So uh, did you do the swap player? Can you try to move a player? Dude, I showed Gabe my workout video. He was like, that's just ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so we have everything hooked up to the fire store and all that kind of stuff. Um, can we just move LCM to uh, LCB? All right. It's cool that you guys got this, right? Cool. And then if you refresh, it stays, right? It persists. Can we put a console.log here just to make sure that it's going into the move? The keys in the map? Yeah, so can you look at that error message right above in your uh, console? Whenever you break out into JSX, just know that um, React is using some kind of computing power. So if you don't have to break out into the JSX, I usually don't. So when we use object.entries, right? Yeah. It becomes an array of arrays. So I heard some news that uh, like, Copilot was free. I don't know because I got I got a bill yesterday from my Copilot. Uh, but uh, anyways, I should unsubscribe. But uh, I've been using Copilot since like 2021. It's helped me a lot. Like even on like outsourcing projects or like when I'm like soloing it, it makes me feel like I'm coding with someone. Usually with like TypeScript nowadays, they have like a definition file in the Node modules or like some kind of declarations that it helps me with like getting all the types and stuff like correctly because I'm sure I could like make the types myself, but they're already made for you. So it helps you find the things that are already built to like help you like with your code and make you faster and do, do things like the way other people have done it, which are probably like right and correct. Cause like I told my mentee yesterday, like once you know like the JavaScript basics and shit like that, you can find ways to like kind of like hack your way into like doing things, you know? But I think Copilot shows you like ways to like uh, do it other way people have done it and give you examples. And also like programming, like I realized like it is just looking for other people's answers. So it's just helping you. Is there any developer doesn't doesn't develop with like Google? I honestly just ask questions to Google all day and uh, Copilot just streamlines that a little bit for me. I think we have all the logic almost for like moving things within this team. But now we have to be able to move like players from teams to teams and uh it's gonna be it's gonna be fun oh crap this is gonna be hard dude because because <laughs> the bench is an array yeah uh it would have been super easy if we did the bench zero bench one bench two like you said but um lcm is null lcd is that guy now if we refresh okay we stay okay okay we're gonna get this done today. Just okay. bear with me. Um, but uh, if uh, you get it done first, more power to you. But yeah. um, 
I'll be thinking about this for the next couple hours as well. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. See All right. you then. All right. Later. Take it easy. All right. So Gabe came uh, maybe three or four months ago, and we did a lot of uh, learning. And uh, I think in the, he's already like uh, he had some background already. So I remember doing the first lesson. He like gave me a uh, he like messaged me and was like, I think we can go a little bit faster. So we started uh, writing some Express HTML JS, uh, JS stuff. And now we've gotten into just doing React serverless stuff. And guess who's here? Yo, guess. I guess who's here? Of course, Mini. <laughs> Mini in the house. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically a soccer management kind of game. But uh, we there's this uh, browser, uh, this API called Soccer API. So we, we hit the API and we got all the players inside of our database. You know, I started doing projects with Jocelyn. Like she's like the first person we like complete our project and we do projects. But I'm doing so many projects now. Yeah. Not like, but like really interesting ones. Yeah. And they're all almost all almost complete, so they'll all come out at like the same time. That's really cool. We can showcase. Them. Like I think Charlie's chatbot will be out soon. Mm -hmm. uh, Gabe's soccer fantasy thing will come out soon. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> There's so much. There. I can, we can create one too if you ever want to make a personal chatbot yourself. Really fast, in like, I, in like a day. Like, I, yeah, super easy. I actually do want to create one, but I actually want to create one for Joe. So we have everything set up, right? We have the users. Now we got to hook up the back end to the login, mm -hmm. right? Correct. Okay, so now can you run um, npm run dev? Oh, looks oh, looks nice. By the way, uh, looks yeah. basic. What happens when you press my skill right now? We do get the uh, okay. multiple options. Uh, what about a skill looking? Okay, yeah, still cool. working. All right, amazing. For now, we need to kind of hook up the back end to the front end, right? There's like a lot of like secret stuff, like security stuff that AI will never know because you hide it a little bit like environment variables and some kind of security measures of like what kind of hashing algorithm or whatever you're going to use. You know, some companies, uh, it's not going to be out there in the world. That's why even like some AI, they don't allow it at like Samsung or like big companies because they use their own LLMs because they're afraid their secrets are going to get out, right? There's some things that AI will never be able to do. Just taste it. All right, let me, let me check this out real quick. You see that? Try some of this uh, sausage. Here, this one? Yeah. Roll it up. <laughs> Holy shit, look at that. No, like, it's good, right? It's Holy crap. Or, I mean, people don't think about how bad it is for the environment, you know? All these GPUs, it takes a lot to run them, a lot of electricity, a lot of energy to run these models, train these models, and um, something's gonna get fucked up in the, in, in the future. Not just, like, financial costs. It's, like, environment costs. And, you know, I always say there's three pillars of coding. You know, cost, speed, and skill. And uh, with AI, we're we're paying a lot, not just financially, but like as much as we advance technology, like with technology, I feel like Mother Nature is getting fucked up a lot. I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye, Jocelyn. Bye. Bye. See you. Merry Christmas, everyone. It's been a long journey. It's been around like six months since starting the YouTube thing, but um. You know, it's the holidays. I just wanted to say Merry Christmas from uh, me and my son. Uh, thank you everyone for being here. Later.